Oh, can I hear back playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate? If you like the video, please press that red subscribe button. One uniform yeah. as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. in the 50 mark. Easy girl. Piss off before you get your 
yourself hurt. That's close enough. Go you bother yourself. Right off. <laughs> oh. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans yeah. detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. Mm. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. What a mistake.
you are. Firmly. Shall we lobby our cause, Miss Fry? Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. That's hmm. it, girl. Come on. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing you? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people, it was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank you, sir. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of him. What would Mr. Green know? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. Easy now. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Boy, what are you doing here, Your Highness? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and what- Huh? What?